Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Etho and welcome back to another episode of Project Ozone 2. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day today. Uh, to get us going here, I wanted to try out this combustion generator we made last episode, just to see what kind of power it outputs, because it might have been modified. It says it takes a liquid and a coolant, like a liquid fuel. So we'll, we'll put gas in there, we'll put water in. Ooh, <laughs> Hero Brian was here. That's not what you want to see. Oh, it's only 60 per tick. 60 RF per tick, that's pretty bad. Well, I think that's standard, right? It, it hasn't been improved, so that's, that's no bueno. That's not going to really work for us. We need some serious power output. So, yeah, solar panels. Solar panels are the way to go. Uh, we will maybe get more into that today, but... We're still working on this ME system stuff, guys. Let's let's get to that. So we turned on the laser drill last episode. Uh, we were not able to get 20 of these last last time, but we got them now. So let's go ahead and finish this up. So we want to throw these in here. They'll get compressed. So those 20 will turn into, I think, five compressed uh, service quartz. Or no, four. I think it's four. Yeah. So we take the four dense ones. Then we run over to our Botania land, and let's redo this. Wait a minute, let's let's check the recipe, because <laughs> I think that's wrong, isn't it? Yeah, we want to make these first before the Fluix cr Crystal Seeds, so Crucio and just Minicio. Okay, let's take off the purple things. Oh, not place. Remove. Okay. I got this. Don't worry. Throw that back on. Uh, let's grab some yellow. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. Okay. So we make our Sirtis Quartz seeds. We start farming those up, and then we're going to use them to create the Fluix ones as well. These ones here. Throw in our Sirtis Quartz seeds. Give it some more sticks. And there it goes. Plant it. There we go. Yeah, okay, so this is 10 10 tenning our seeds here, and it's also multiplying them, so we're going to snag one of these. Run back over to Botania Land, and we'll use it to make the Fluix Crystal Seeds. I know you guys love the Acrocraft stuff. <laughs> some of you really like it, and some of you just hate it. Uh, but thankfully, we don't really have to do much of it anymore. It's been a long time since I actually made a seed, so I thought, thought we'd do it on camera. May as well. There we go. The Fluix Crystal Seeds. Uh, we still have plenty of mana here. Yeah, we got lots in there. Okay. That pig just, like, fell. <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah, so this is the main reason we did the seed stuff, by the way. So it gives us a Sirtis Quartz Essence. Put that in with the Quartz uh, Crystal. And now we can make pure Sirtis Quartz Crystals. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Made a few of them already. Uh, that also is the way we make these calculation circuits, is with these only. Uh, normally, you have to grow these with a growth accelerator. It's it's this big thing you got to set up, and it takes a lot of power and time to, to do it. We kind of did a big skipper rooney by doing it this way, so I'm happy about that. Um, what we're going to do now, I was tipped off the way we unlock the Ada quest line. This one here, all our ME stuff, is by doing the uh, Demon Steel stuff. <laughs> so I think we are going to do this. The The reason I was putting it off is because we need Gaia. we got to fight the Gaia Guardian. But uh, we'll do it. I think we can do it. So we got to make the portal. Portal to the Elfheim. Probably said that wrong. Uh, this thing's not hard to do once you get Terra Steel, which we have. We just got to set this thing up here, fill up these two uh, mana pools with mana, um, and then craft a few things here, nothing too big. So, did we have any Terra Steel left? We got three pieces there, that's good. So make the nuggets out of that. This finished here. Oh, let's, uh, let's use our tool. All right, we might need some more of this, so I'll put down some more. Uh, skunk stripe it like that. Good. That's our core. Construct a few additional pylons. Make them green. 
Okay, so I think we got everything here. Uh, the really cool thing about the, this portal is you can actually do this visualization for it. And it shows you exactly where to place the blocks. Uh, right click to anchor it. Uh, how do I do that? <laughs> if I right click, I look in the book. Uh, there, that worked. Okay, so now we got to build the portal here. And man, I tell you, it's so hard not to jump ahead in our quest book. Like I just saw we did this quest here and it's still grayed out. We still have so many little dinky quests to do to get to that, but I think it counted. So once we get to that, it'll, it'll work. It'll be done. Uh, anyways, ramble, ramble. Let's, uh, let's do that and then that and then... Now this is not actually a portal to go somewhere. This allows you to craft the uh, pink, pink ingot stuff. So we just gotta light this. All right, there we go, that's good. Throw down our mana pools. Boop, and taxes. <laughs> Please move. There we go. And throw on our pylons, the green ones. Okay, so that's complete. Good. We got to fill this up with mana, which is really easy because we have uh, the, the, the lo what's it called? Lotus? Black Lotus? Yeah. Let's throw these in here. Oh, wait, this needs a little bit of mana for the Lotus to work. I forgot about that. Uh, we do have our ring. Uh, do I still have our Botania tools? Somewhere, I must. Or did I leave it in the chest here? We need the wand. There it is. Okay, so we got to switch it so it'll take in mana. Oh, it, it, it will already. Okay, so throw on our ring. This is like a storage device for mana that you wear. All right, put that back on us. Now that this has a little bit of mana in, these lotus will actually work. We gotta fill these up all the way. Okay, that's that one's good. Uh, normally, these take a really long time to fill up, <laughs> like when you're just starting out, because you can't make the better mana generation until you actually do this either. Okay, but those are both full. Now we right-click there. Our portal turns on. And we can start getting the good stuff here. So I think we take uh, our mana pearls and our mana diamonds. Yeah, and they start turning into the pink things. Good. So we get dragonstone and uh, pixie dust from this. Also, we need the mana steel thrown in here too. Let's see. Let's make some more of this. Mana steel is regular steel and in the mana pool here. Okay, let's make a little bit more. Good. Throw that in here. This will make the elementium. Right? Oh, it's fallen off. Wait, where did... Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't know if that worked. Oh, okay. So normally you use mana steel. I guess in Kappa mode, it's terra steel to make elementium. That's a problem. Uh, so if we throw mana steel in here, it just destroys it. It doesn't uh, doesn't create it. <laughs> That's good to know. Well, let's try this out then. That's how you do it. Okay. Why am I doing this even? I'm, I'm not sure. I just, I know this is like something we need to do. I always forget how to actually summon the Gaia though. I know you need a beacon. And was it an element? No. We're doing this for a reason, though, guys. I'm sure. I'm sure we are. Uh, let me figure it out. Oh, I know why. I know why. Wait a second. We got to throw the book in here. That's another b reason we did this. Okay, so now that we do that, it gives us the new and improved book. This will tell me how to summon the Gaia. Okay, so we do need ele Elementium. That makes the Gaia pylons. We need four of those around a beacon. All right, there it goes. So this is something we made quite a few episodes ago, actually. It's an automatic uh, terra steel maker. So these have ender pearls, or mana pearls, mana diamonds, and mana steel in. Drops it on here, takes mana from our pool there. And eventually makes terra steel. <laughs> and there it 
it goes. Okay, and once it's made, this has a filter for it, so it only will put Terra Steel in this vacuum chest. We're going to need quite a bit of that, it seems. Boop, 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 boop. All right, very good. So I got the uh, Gaia pylons here. Uh, to make the beacon, it's actually a little bit different in Kappa mode here, too. It's almost easier, I would say, because it doesn't take a, a nether star. Takes lumium glass, which, okay, fine, not a big deal. And uh, a block of this diamond stuff. So, sure. <laughs> I'll go with that. And some smoky quartz. Not, nothing too hard to get here. So there's our beacon. Uh, it saved us our one nether star. Like, we only have one. And thankfully, we didn't have to use it here. So we got that. We're going to need some uh, beacon blocks as well. So let's grab some iron. I suppose, and we're going to head off over to the Aether, I think. Let's do it in the Aether. It'll be nicer there. So I don't know about this fight. I grabbed the Diamond Apples, both kinds, to help us out here if we have trouble. But uh, the normal Gaia isn't too, too difficult. The reason we might have trouble, though, is because, uh, for one thing, our bow doesn't work, our amazing bow. Uh, this is a melee fight. And also, the crazy creepers in this pack might make this really nuts. <laughs> we will find out. Here's a good spot. I like the spot here. Nice and flat. Okay, let's just, let's just double check here with the visualization. We'll place it one block higher. Uh, I think that's good, right? I think we're good to go. Cool. I just got, uh, by the way, a blue moa egg here. Tell me about this, guys. How do I hatch this thing? I think one of the mobs dropped it when I killed it. I don't know. Just I just noticed in my inventory, though. Could be cool to try out. Um, yeah, let's let's do this. <laughs> so we use one Terra Steel to summon it. And I'm going to go ahead and apple up already, actually. Here we go. Oh, shift. No matter how hard you try to push and get into the beacon, nothing seems to happen. Perhaps your configuration of... Oh, no way! Oh, come on! Seriously? <laughs> One, two... Just th shows three blocks. I disagree. I think I did it just fine. Maybe they gotta go one block higher. But then... Oh, they do! Oh! Okay, you were right. I was wrong. Let's move these up. There we go. Okay, we got it. Sweet. Are you ready <laughs> for the fight of a lifetime? Okay, we will try out the bow just to see, like, maybe this is some amazing bow that cheats the fight. But I doubt it. Oh, hello. Uh, are you good to go? Oh, I gotta, I gotta hit him first. Okay. And basically, just teleports all over the place. We gotta run up to him. Try to avoid the purple on the ground. How's my health? Oh, we're just losing saturation hearts right now. It's not bad. And we seem to be doing a lot of damage. Yeah, bow does not work. Confirmed. Okay. So, okay, here it is. Here it is. This is the scary part. Eat another apple. Refill our saturation. Uh, skeletons are fine. I, I think he does summon creepers though, right? Or maybe not. Maybe he doesn't summon creepers. Oh. Okay, wither skeletons. Not a problem. It's just creepers. That's the only thing we're scared of. Yeah, I think we're okay actually. Seems to avoid the creepers. Oh. Okay. No, oh, sorry, taxes. <laughs> hey, this is a way we can uh, farm uh, zombie heads easy too, I guess. Oh, you're you're ready for more? Okay. Let's finish this. In total, we're gonna need 36 Gaia spirits. There we go. We got it. Okay. 36. How much do we get from one fight? Eight. 
just eight. So we're going to have to do this uh, like five times. It's not too bad. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I flew out. Oh, I died. What? What? Who did it? How did that even happen? Uh... Oh, I'm scared to do this now. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Um, things got a little bit nuts there, actually. I'm going to have to eat both apples, I think. I just ate the one, the cheaper one. And I didn't do so well. Whew. Oh, no. What? I'm just like randomly dying. Something's messed up with the hearts, I think. That's what's happening. Woo! 40? We got 40! Woohoo! Okay, that's what we needed to do. Awesome. So let's start uh, piecing together our Master Infusion Stone thing here. So this is what the Gaia Spirit was for. Uh, Terra Steel plus Gaia Spirits makes the Gaia Ingots. Mm, yeah, we'll do 10, sure. Okay, and then we can take nine of those, make the compressed Gaia. And I guess uh, it's a good thing we didn't use this nether star because it's actually part of this uh, infusion stone thing. It's one of the pieces. So let's start just throwing the stuff on the altar here as we get it. That's one piece, that's two pieces. Uh, we needed the mana steel block. Um, let's Let's double check this again. Okay, I think that's that's mana diamond. This is dragon stone. Okay, we made dragon stone earlier, and we put it in the chest here, right? Yeah, over here. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes I have such a hard time finding the stuff again. Oh, but there we go. Okay, so that's two more pieces or three more because uh, ender pearl is one for mana pearl. Okay, and what else here? We're gonna need more terra steel. An elementium. Uh, there's nine in there, so that'll make the elementium. So we're gonna need nine more tear steel, and that is nine. Okay, cool. One more piece done here. Last thing we need is a block of Zvisio. Zvisio. So let's ha head down to our Zvisio maker thing here. Where's my glider? There we go. Okay, so uh, we set this up a while ago as well. Basically, this is where all our other infusion stones are. And they make their way to the purple stuff. I think one stack of this should be enough to make the block. Uh, the beauty about the master infusion stone is we can use it to make any tier of this stuff. Oh, actually, we need two more. Okay, we'll borrow some from here. Alright, can you uh, go backwards with this? Yeah, you can. Okay, good. Whew. Okay, we take, uh, I think, nine of these. There we go. This is a Visio block. Last piece. Now, this is going to take a lot of mana, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's going to take some time. So while that goes, I just noticed, like, this Hydrangea that's holding us back here. We need four of these. It's actually very cheap. Two blue petals, two cyan petals, mana powder. Uh, we have all our petals here, so let's just go ahead and do this. Last one. All right. Cool, so that's four hydrangeas. Let's make sure this finished. Looks good. Now look at this beauty. So this one's done. <laughs> Unbelievable. Making mana steel, making spark stuff. Well, no, this is the Terra Steel quest, okay. Did that a long, long time ago. And we made our portal. Uh, we made... Oh, we need 32 Elementium. 64 Dreamwood. Okay, we can't do that right now. But yeah, that's that's a big chunk of quests out. out of the way there. Boots. Was that what we needed? Saltor. Oh, more Jeweled Apples. Very good. A zombie generator consumes nutrient distillation to generate power. Oh, okay, so that's the stuff we get from... I think that's what's in this barrel here, right? Essence. 
No, it's something different. It's what we're making in uh, the, what's it called? The vat. Yeah, this, this stuff here makes power with this. Let's try that out. Um, I think we need to scoop that out of here and put it in here. Okay, very cool. Generating zero. Okay, maybe it needs more. How's it going? Still not going. Hmm. Oh. Okay, this filled up all of a sudden. <laughs> um, put this next to it and see how fast it charges. Right? So that's gaining... Oh, that's not bad, actually. 8,000 per tick. That's pretty good. It's not using... Well, it's using a little bit. Not too crazy. Okay, let's go check on this. Did it finish? Did it finish? Yeah, looks like we got it somewhere. There it is. Woohoo! Master Infusion Stone. That was another quest. Now we're really on a roll here. Legendary Bag. Okay, here we go. Here we go, guys. Aw. <laughs> I mean, that's good. That is actually a good thing. Those are annoying to make. But, uh... It's open for a little bit more. Uh, okay. What else can we do now? So now that we got this, we can make the Temperio. That is going to take more of the purple stuff here. So it goes like this, right? Yeah, that makes one. Ah, you know what? It was the pants we needed. We got a second pair of boots here to finish up our, our set of armor. Oh, well, not a big deal. Uh, so now that we can make the Temperio, let's make a bunch of it, right? Let's get this Demon Steel stuff going. Mm, should we do more? Let's do more. This should be good enough, right? Grab some diamonds. Okay, now we got to combine it in one of these uh, me metallic or metallurgic infusers. That's what they're called. Okay, is one of these our diamond one? Doesn't look like it. Can we... No. <laughs> I think we got to grind it. Okay, let's throw it in a pulverizer. And can I grab it? I can grab some of it here. Spam click it as it, com it comes out. Oh, I think we got all of it, actually. That was pretty cool. Or wait, maybe this isn't going into our system. No, it's not. <laughs> okay, there was no skill involved there, actually. I thought it was, like, so fast I got them all. No. Um... It's not going in the system. Anyways, throw that in here. This fills up. Then it starts combining diamond with the Temperial. This should make the Demon Steel. And every tier of Demon Steel requires three from the previous one. So we need three of the first magnitude to make the second magnitude. Three of the second to make the third. Three thirds to make a fourth. And so on and so forth. And it goes all the way up to... What? Like 20 or something? 11? Goes up to 11. Okay, not as, not as crazy as I thought. This is done. That might have unlocked Ada, or we might need to do a bit more there. Or I might have been trolled, and this is not what we need to do at all. <laughs> one, one of those things is true. Let's check here. Still not free. Okay. So we might need more. Let's try second tier. So that's our second magnitude. Okay. Claim it. Is Ada unlocked? Ada is still not unlocked. Okay. Hmm. Oh, it takes a lot of blue shiny rock. Oh, man. Okay. I think in the long term here, since we're going to need a lot of this demon steel, uh, we're going to want to get compressed diamond instead. So throw a diamond in the enrichment chamber with, uh, I think, just power, actually. Yeah, just power. And then this is used instead of diamond dust, and I think it's like 10 times better, or something of that nature. Combine this with the Timperial. I think that's a, a better plan long term. But we got, we got a few here. Okay, we can do tier three. Tier three might be tier four. I remember the comment saying tier four, actually. Let's double check here. Yeah, Ada's still not unlocked. Okay. Check our bags. We'll go up to Tier 4. If that doesn't do it, then we might need to make a better system. Tier 2. Tier 3. 
Last one here, tier 4. If this doesn't work, we'll try to make an automated system and stop doing it manually here. <laughs> All right, tier 4. Did that unlock Ada? Let's find out. No. Oh man, guys. I don't know. I might have been had. Could have could have been a troll. But we might need to go further down the line here. I think we should automate it before uh, attempting that cuz this is going to take a long time otherwise. Uh, we can actually... Do we have any crafters? Yeah, we got a lot of crafters here. Maybe we'll grab one of these. We'll grab a cache. Storage cache. Let's go down here. We'll just add on to what we did before. Yeah, so we'll take, uh, take some of this out of here. Go into the next crafter. We'll throw in the recipe here. One, two, three, four. With our master stone. I think we got to leave that in there. Uh, this will feed into there. Okay. Then this will feed into the cache. Like so. Okay, now this should fill up with Temperio. All we gotta do is give it some power too yet. So let's grab our cables. Let's throw that over there. And I think it should be good, right? One, two. There's only two in there. Let's just help it along here. Yeah, that made it, and it went into here. So this is going to start filling up with this stuff. Here we go. Okay, ME controller, guys. Finally, <laughs> we got it. Unreal. We could actually make more of them now, too, except I'm having trouble, having trouble getting this to work now. I don't know why. Uh, processors, right? That's what they're called. We want to make an engineering processor. Oh, I, I'm missing the silicon at the bottom. That's what it is. It's like, man, it just won't work for some reason. Okay. <laughs> Emmy controller, guys. We got it. I'm so so happy. Now, I have a question for you. Um, now that we can set up an Emmy system, what do we do with all our drawers? Do we try to hook up a storage bus to these so that our... Our ME system can can use it, or do we rip these all out, transfer the items into the disk drive? What would be better? Probably transferring, right? That would be a big pain, though, too. I don't know. Let me know what you think, and then we'll do it, okay? Another controller. Cool. Grab some more cloud stuff, and we are in good shape now, so... Start setting this stuff up maybe next episode. But I think we're going to call it here for today, guys. So thank you for watching, as always. And until next time, take care. Bye-bye.